So Laurie, can you tell us a little bit more about your approach to fundraising? You've mentioned grant writing, uh, other fundraising efforts, mm -hmm. and then concerts. So if you could talk a little bit more about how you do those. Yeah, well, I will tell you that fundraising is no easy feat. And um, we found that when we were trying to raise, like, for example, to get corporate sponsorships for our annual summer program, which is sort of modeled after the idea of interlocking and um, we found that it was harder to get donors to commit to the program, the summer program, because it's um, it's very broad, uh, and you know we talk about oh, you have musical theater and we have this and we have that, and I also think because it's something that's <clears throat> because it's an annual thing, people think well their donations are never going to stop. It's going to be a continuous flow of you know, and and so it's been really hard in terms of doing that. But you know the the way we've done. Uh, fundraising for our summer program is really through individual donations. Uh, so, for example, those living room concerts that we did, those are the kinds of things that sort of start us um, on our path to raising money for the summer. And then, uh, and also sort of appealing, we do an annual mailing. Uh, and as, as we've grown, we've, our mailing list has grown because it's our audience base, um, it's our donor base, uh, you know, the, of, of people that we've met over the year, like, you know, either hobnobbing with at, you know, parties or, you know, just various different ways of, of getting together with people and, and just networking. But what, what was really interesting is when we started with Peace on Your Wings, all of a sudden uh, these huge donor bases opened up to us that hadn't been opened before because we had, not only did we have a project that had a limited run, but we also had something that had peace. Uh, in the mission, and oh, you know, we're going to have these kids, you know, that are going to travel and do a show um, about Sadako, and as Sadako, because her story is so famous, you know, people were really touched that we had written a musical about her. It also had the idea of um, uh, nuclear, you know, something, and it was an anti-nuclear message too. So more people wanted to help, um, and so all of a sudden, where Ohana Arts wasn't getting corporate sponsorships, we were getting multiple corporate sponsorships. We also had a lot of grant opportunities open up to us because as we were doing research, we found um, that there were grants that were specific to commissioning works. So we applied to the City and Council of Honolulu, um, Mayor, Mayor Office of Culture and the Arts, uh, and uh, you know, state grants, and also there was the, the Japan Foundation. All of these niche-oriented grant organizations suddenly became available to us because of, of uh, what we were doing specifically with this project, which was not a summer program uh, oriented musical, but it was an offshoot of that. It was a, a musical that we did during the year. Um, and so oh, A Piece on Your Wings, as we, as we continue to tell our board, is really has become a bread and butter sort of, you know, helping us make money sort of uh, 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 venture. And the wonderful thing about that is it, it's not only helped us with donors in Hawaii, but it's helped us with donors on the mainland as well. So LA, the interesting thing is we find that people will be more likely to donate money once they've seen the show. And when we saw the show in LA, uh, we did get some amazing donations, but those same funders were so excited that we were gonna take the show elsewhere that they donated again. And that's how our, our base has grown. And we had um, a wonderful piece of stroke of luck because we were, um, I had heard of that Helen Bing who is, you know, she has, Really, she's donated uh, money so that the Bing Theater at Stanford and also the Bing Theater in Los Angeles were were uh, were built, and she also donated to a uh, an organization, a spot, the Spotlight Awards, which is a, a competition that I had won. So through that, through you know, I had I had found out her information. Somebody had had let her know that I wanted to be in touch with her from the Spotlight Awards, and because of that connection, we met with her for lunch, and she donated. She was our title sponsor for our LA production of Peace on Your Wings. So one thing that I always recommend to people who are starting things is, you know, try to try to find the donors um, of competitions you've won or of other or things that you've been a part of, because those are the kinds of people who are so proud of what they do, they want to help their winners or their protégés succeed, so to speak. So, you know, finding those people, um, they're they're going to want to help you go further because it helps them too. Um, so that was, you know, specifically one instance of of. Um, of fundraising that I that I learned a lot from